As interior designers, we are constantly looking for innovative ways to make the smallest footprint in nature as possible. And I've traveled the world looking for many different countries that do just that, but none have I found do such great a job as belongings here in Israel. This is just north of Tel Aviv in the Sharon district. And as you can see around me, it's absolutely beautiful. We are in the middle of nature. Everything that you see here is actually created organically and not mechanically. And what do I mean by that? Nothing is taken from a natural product by way of cutting or by way of harvesting. Rather, it organically fell and then was created into something. For example, these salad tongs are olive branches that were not cut from the olive tree, rather fell down and then reused once taken from the ground. There's so much more to see. Let me show you some of my favorite finds. We spend thousands and thousands of dollars on rust prevention and trying to get rust out of metal objects. But here at Belongings, they actually use the rust for purpose. Here you can see these amazing pieces of art which are reclaimed metal palettes. And using rust, they've created the actual artwork. Now, what's interesting about this artwork is that it is forever evolving, for, forever developing. With the rust on it, over time, this will be changing and creating a new and interesting piece of art. Now, not only have they used the rust in the artwork, they've actually used it as a dye for this silk scarf. What an interesting and beautiful way to use something in nature that we usually consider to be a negative for a positive. What they've done is they've actually found these beautiful reclaimed pieces of wood, sand them down, and woven right into the wood, front to back, to create this needlepoint, this stitch work throughout to give it a really beautiful detail. So I really wanted to end here with this piece because after speaking with the owner and designer, Noah, I really got a great sense of what this place was about. It wasn't only about reusing, repurposing, and recycling. It was more about the story behind the pieces that she uses. So for example, with this light fixture, these are actually old sweaters that she found and created this beautiful drop with the light. Uh, and each sweater has a story behind it. Each sweater had an owner. The energy in this sweater is something that will carry on for many, many generations to come. Yeah.